by Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've got one for you tonight and it's really good to be back. I stopped by an estate sale the other day and there was this big box of um, ruby red glasses, anchor hawking, and they were all wrapped up. I unwrapped one and saw that it was absolutely in beautiful unused condition. And the lady assured me that they were all in that condition. And so for the price, there were 15 glasses in all, I believed her and she was absolutely correct. These are called 76 Grape Royal Ruby. And like I said, I have 10 of these and they sell for about $10 a glass. So pretty good deal here. I couldn't find an exact date when they made them. I believe they're the mid sixties. I do know that they predate 1969 because they were sold under the anchor glass name. And I know in 1969, anchor hawking dropped the anchor glass and just went straight to anchor hawking. These were the other glasses in the box and they are called Square Dance Royal Ruby by Anchor Glass, Anchor Hawking. These also predate 1969. Could again not get an exact date on them. They're all beautiful and they retail or they sell for about $10 a glass. Um, but I think I'm going to keep these because I do have the same ones in green and uh, I think they'll look very cool all together. Found these beautiful salt and pepper shakers at the Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for them and they were all wrapped up. And uh, when I came home and cut them open, I noticed that they had the tag on them, which always makes it better. I'm trying to find the tag. There it is. And the tag says Golden Crown ENR Company. And the ENR stands for Ebling and Roos, I believe you pronounce it. And I did a little research on that logo, on that sticker. And I found that um, the same sticker was made in Germany and Sweden and Italy and China and a few other countries um, along with Holland. They're 1970s salt and pepper shakers. They sell for about $20 on eBay. I did a little more research, wanted to see what distal meant. And distal means thistle. I don't know if that's information anybody really needs or can use. And I don't know how it um, relates to the company but that's what it means and I also said hmm I know Delft is a city in Holland but uh, let's see what I can find on it and I found out that it was named um, it actually means delving or digging as it was built along the canal in the 11th century I guess that's how it got its name again some more probably not useful information but like I said about $20 on eBay Found this at the local Goodwill. It is Pyrex Opalware. Opalware is a name that they use. They do not use milk glass for Pyrex. And it's in beautiful, beautiful condition. And I'm always picking up lids. I had this lid at home and I finally found a casserole that fits it. So for $1.99, I've got this complete casserole. And this lid here, let me show you right here. I'll turn it over. I found out it's also known as a pie plate lid. I guess you can just cook a little pie right in there. They sell for about 18 to 20 dollars on eBay in this condition. This adorable little salt and pepper shaker set it says Panama on it. It has its stoppers. Great condition. Comes with a little road tray. We're actually free. The house that we are moving into, they left these behind and um, I'll probably list them for about $15 on eBay. Fire King Turquoise Blue, 1956 to 1957. One of my favorite 
colors and milk glass of all times. These were also left in the house for me. I was really happy to find them. It was kind of like you are meant to be here kind of a thing. And they're eight inch veggie bowls and they actually sell for, I can get about 40 to $50 on eBay if I were to sell them, which I am not. I was shopping with my girlfriend at the Indian River Antique Mall in Melbourne, which is huge. I swear we must have spent two hours there. And I saw all this gorgeous Hazel Atlas modern tone. And um, it was a fairly good price. I didn't buy it, but I went home and I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. So I did go back and I made a deal with the owner of it. And I picked it all up and I'm really glad I did because it's, it's so pretty. It's really hard to find Hazel Atlas modern tone. This set was made in about 1940, and you can see on the bottom, it has like milk glass. It's actually called platinite or platonite. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Um, it is a fired on opaque glassware. And I have 10 sets of the cups and saucers, which I plan on selling um, for probably about five to six dollars a set. I am going to hang on to the plates. I have 12 plates at all. As you can see, I have some smaller ones and I do have an oval platter. So I find these very hard to find and they are going in my everyday collection, I believe. Nice art deco look about them. I paid a dollar for this Telefloro adorable planter or flower vase. Um, I'm going to use it as a planter personally. I love the colors and you know I love my Teleflora. I paid a dollar for it. They sell for about ten dollars on eBay. Picked this up at a local yard sale. It was three dollars which was exactly what I had in my hand. It's purple slag glass. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see right here, it has a picture of a windmill on it. And slag glass, in case you didn't know, is an opaque press glass um, with streaked colors. You can see they have streaked colors throughout. Comes in other colors also. I do not have any purple. Happy to find this. And slag is actually the name given to iron additives added to um, the glass during production. Very heavy, very beautiful. And this piece is based on a 19th century English piece, um, yeah, based on a 19th century English piece. I'm going to keep it. If I was to sell it, I think they go for about $30, and they were made in 1980. Picked this up in a state sale. I paid a dollar for it. I just loved it. It's an Art Deco plate. Probably should have bought it because there was just the one. But it did have a tag on it that said Samuel Lewis, New York, Art Deco. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to go home and research the Samuel Lewis Company. Doesn't exist, at least not to my knowledge. So I just have this pretty little one Art Deco plate. Picked this up at an estate sale. I paid $3 for it. It is an Anchor Hawking Royal Ruby. Um, Roly-poly tilt pitcher. It's a 42 ounce pitcher and they made the Royal Ruby. They started in the 1930, in 1938, excuse me, and the Roly-polies were made in the 1950s. I have a bunch of Roly-poly glasses. I think I'm going to sell it off as a set. I would keep this pitcher myself because I do collect them, but I already have one with the original tag on it. So if I do decide to sell it with a bunch of glasses, I think I'll probably ask about 30 to 40 dollars for the pitcher and a set of six glasses. Paid 99 cents for this Farkle dice game. It is neither collectible nor vintage, but we love Farkle. We don't have a set of our own, so now we do. So when our friends come over, we can play Farkle here. There you go. Farkle. Found this at the Goodwill. I paid $1.99 for it simply because I love the color. You can see it's got a really pretty royal ruby color to it. And I took the lid off to see what it was. I'll put it down and show you. 
and it is an oil burner or maybe even a fragrance bur burner. I did a little research on it because I'm not familiar with these products at all. And I do know they sell really well. They're very collectible. If this is vintage and I'm not 100% sure or even 50% sure that it is, they sell anywhere from $50 to $300. But looking around, I noticed there was a company called Lamp Berche that made a lot of these oil diffuser kind of fragrance lamps. I did not find this particular pattern. I have to do some more research actually to see if it is a Berche, a Lamp Berche. But even they sell for about $50. So either way, it was a good score for $1.99. So happy to find this. I found this at a local thrift store. I have the larger bowl. I think the larger bowl I just did in a video not too long ago. It's made by the Imperial Glass Company out of Ohio, and the pattern is called Amelia Marigold Carnival. It's a nappy bowl. It's also known as Star Medallion. You can see it has kind of a Star Medallion um, pattern to it. I paid only $2.50 for it, and it's in beautiful condition. I was really lucky. They sell for about $25, and they were produced between 1931 and 1932. I hope you enjoyed my latest video. I know it's been about a month since I put one up. We've been really busy um, selling this house and getting our new house ready to move into, which we're gonna be doing in about four weeks. Most of the stuff you see here on the table I did find in Melbourne, that's where we're gonna be moving to. They have a lot of great thrift stores there and antique malls, and I hope in the future um, to take you through them with me. So have a great day, see you real soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You. <laughs> I got lost. Into is it the iconic in Melbourne?